Hey, hi, friends. Welcome back to Bahu Automation Lab once again. And let's continue this session uh, related to the APM TDD framework. In the previous session, we have learned how to get the data from this config.data uh, properties file and uh, how to assign that values here. For example, raw automation name, app package name, app activity name, and this APM URL. So this, uh, this, all these values are no more hard coded in the code, right? We'll getting this, uh, get this from this config.properties file. Now in this session, let's understand how to parameterize these uh, values as well, like platform name, device name, and uh, if there is a device version and everything we, we mentioned, or any other capabilities related to the device, we, we, if you have mentioned here, how to parameterize those also from the test in the XML, okay? So this uh, commonly used properties we have getting this data from this config uh, dot properties file. And this device name will be changed as per the if you are working on any cloud session or anywhere or if you have multiple emulators then uh, then we can change as per the your test case requirements if you are if you want to run some test case on a, any other device or any other, other emulators then you can simply change it into the test in the xml file and you can run that test case particular test case on other devices okay so for that uh, uh, compatibility in this our framework will cover parameterize this value as per the test case okay in from this test and xml file okay so how to parameterize this let's, let's learn in this session so we have this uh, one test uh, we have already created right so let's just convert this test case into the uh, convert this test into the um, test ng xml okay so this is the test ng xml okay we can change the name if required for the rest, okay, we can change it later. So let's uh, create this test and XML file first. Okay, here is the test and XML file. So this is our test name, right? So let's copy this test name and paste it here. Okay, now we require to parameterize these values. Best test, uh, like autumn, like our platform name and device name. So how to parameterize this? So as the test level, okay, this is the suit level. After that, this test, this class, and inside this class, we have a test case, right? This is a class close, test case, and suit close. So inside this test class, let's create a one variable. It's called as a parameters. Okay. Inside this parameter, we need to provide parameter name is equal to this platform name in the test in JXML file. Okay. We have defined parameter name uh, platform name. After that, the value from that for that platform name is Android. So let's define this is here in the value. Okay, after that, create a one more parameter here. Okay, and I'll take this like a device name. And also define this device name from here. Okay, so we have parameterized this test case. Now, how to access this value in our test case? So go to the base test, okay, in our test. So here we have defined this before test, right? In before test, let's add one parameter. It's called as the parameters, okay, this parameters. Inside this parameters, open bracket, inside that one curly brace brackets, and inside that uh, the double quote, we require to define these values, like platform name, okay, also, the comma device name okay and this curly black it blues simple now let's define this parameterized in uh, this parameters in the uh, in our this before test method as well so here we can create one string this is a string type of parameter so let's create one string device name it's comma uh, sorry platform name comma device name device name okay now let's access this platform name here directly into the one remove this hard coded from here and remove it we we'll just paste it here let's copy this device name from here and paste it here. so there is no more hard coded value here in the our capabilities are there. like no any url mentioned no platform name mentioned no automation name mentioned or no package name or activity name this is our like a secure values right like a package name app activity name so we require to store it inside the uh dot properties file and we can parameter like this so when we run this uh, program in the test engine let's understand if you have multiple test cases like this and you want to run this test case on this emulator you want to run another test case on any another 
uh, device. So simply you can just change the name here, device name, change here. If, uh, if you want to change any version here, so like that you can run in this test, uh, multiple test cases here from the multiple devices. So this is the uh, important tool like to parameterize this uh, platform name and device name or any version related capabilities, or whatever capabilities do you have related to that device. So we can uh, like parameterize in this way in the test ng XML file. So we are, what is exactly happened here? So here we have like this parameters. It, it, whenever we run this test ng XML file, it will check the parameters inside this test. Okay, getting that parameter value from here and store into the this parameter uh, platform name variable through these parameters. Uh, same way for the device name as well, getting this device name from here, uh, the device name value from here and store store it to the, this is the device name value, store it to the, this, uh, through these parameters in the device name and uh, assign here, right? Simply way we can get the uh, parameters and get the value here and we can run the program. So we have done everything still time, right? We have almost uh, done some, uh, everything and uh, there is no more hard coded values here. So let's run this test in XML file and see whether we are able to execute this program properly or not. Okay, I'll just uh, clear my logs. Okay, uh, go to low regular test also. Okay, here expected result we have also mentioned this password. Okay, uh, wrong. We have done wrong uh, to compare this value we have uh, removed some words from here right so we'll change it again so expected result is password right so now uh, let's go to test xml file run this uh, test always through the test in xml file huh? because we have parameterized the value in test in xml file lots of uh, students make the mistakes they run the program here and it will not execute properly because when we run this program from here, it will not execute this test in XML file and not no go to the inside this test and not get these parameters. So always run the test in XML file only. So I'll running this test in XML file through the test ng suit. Okay, so let's check the logs. Yeah, logs are coming properly. So open Swag Lab demo app in email item. I click on the username field, added a username, and click on the uh, login button and getting password is required uh, error. So we have automated one test case only. So we'll get correct value, pass one, failure zero. Okay, and uh, our test case also pass, actual uh, error message takes, password is required and expected also password is required. Right, so through that we have uh, remove all the hard coded values. So how value is coming here? Now there is no more hard coded value here, right? So we have defined everything. To, uh, we are accessing every value from this config dot properties file or the test ng XML file to parameterize. Okay, now let's run this program to see the whether we are able to access these values properly or not. Before that, uh, let's do some changes in our test ng uh, test because we have already defined here uh, APM driver before test and everything. Now we'll access this through the our next class. So I will remove this from here. Okay. So here we have defined the driver which is accessible for this class only, right? Because we have defined APM driver here. So now we require to access the driver from global. So globally we have defined APM driver here. So we'll assign uh, access that driver globally. So I'll just type here like config dot drive. Like the same way we have accessing that driver here, right? Okay. So I'll just replacing this config dot driver here in our test. Let's see config dot driver and config dot drive. Let's import this from our base uh right here. Config dot drive. Right. Now we have defined this one. Let's uh, do one thing now. Let's import it properly. Now uh let's do inheritance for this class okay we are accessing this blessed task so extend this class to the old base list extend best test so that we uh, are in it inherits this class to this best test and we'll get all the properties and method related to this uh best test in, in uh, we'll access directly that uh, pro methods and properties in this class doing this inherits concepts okay? now uh we are able to this so this is our test 
whenever you run this test in the example that file, uh, our control will be go to the report test first in this base test, execute this uh, entire code and then it can execute our test, right? The same way. Also, we have changed here password. Let's uh, is this correct word to expected result. Expected result extended this to the best test. And here we have defined everything. Okay. So now let's execute our program to our test and JSON file run our program so that we will ensure that everything, whatever changes we have made in this framework uh, related to the parameterization, related to no more hard coded values in the best test, everything will be work properly or not. Okay. So uh, come to here. Okay, and the last video we have also this mistakes. Uh, last session also we have made this mistake. The ESRC slash we require to add here in the path variable. Guys, make these changes as well. And now let's run this program. So we'll get the uh, exact config dot properties file. Okay, it's executing properly and getting this standard username okay and this is the error message okay our test is run properly this is the uh, actual error message text after click on the uh, in red username I expected error message test also password is required okay same pass this one. so let's understand how this value is coming from this test index in the file and i'll just add some debugger point here And and now let's debug this program. Right click test ng and debug to yeah. Again, it's executed properly. We have run this program now, right? or we debug this one. Okay, let's add this debugger points. Test and JXML file, right click and debug as test and JXML. Okay. Now it's coming to the debugger point. Okay, and then go to the switch. Okay, so here our property uh, test that uh, property config dot properties file. Okay, we are accessing that through the input stream, right? So let's continue this. It will load here till here it's, it will get load. Okay, now uh let's add one debugger point here and continue so here just hold on it and check the value it's ui automated too where it's coming from our uh this con properties by ui automated too right now let's hold on it it's coming from uh same config dot properties file uh swag lab app package name, right same way activity name is coming from here now let's add one debugger point here as well for you all and copy the file. Let's continue it. Now we are in desired capability and here in the URL section, let's continue. Okay, now let's uh, check this platform name. It's coming Android. It's coming from our test in JXML file. This one, Android. Because we are parameterized these things. You can see, go on it and check Android. This is our uh, parameterized value. This is the value coming from this parameterized Android. Assigning uh, and get assigned here. Android. Perfect. Same way device name. Device name. Perfect. Here through the device name. It's traveling here. Same way APM URL. It's coming from our uh, properties file. URL. Right. This way it will get executed. Right. So let's continue this one. Script. and is executed properly so this way we can understand how our test case flow is getting executed in our frame okay just let's remove this debugger point for me it's for your understanding purpose i'll uh, debug this program and show you how the value is coming okay hopefully you enjoyed it uh, how to uh, parameterize the value from the test engine okay and then next lecture we'll continue this uh, the session uh, related to the 3d framework okay till then have a great day bye bye take care